two new kits released for The Sims 4 today, and usually I would start this video by complaining about how I still don't love the idea of kits in general, but I won't lie, I'm actually really excited for both of these new kits. So today the Pastel Pop Kit and the Everyday Clutter Kit are coming out, and just from the names you can already tell that I'm, I'm probably gonna like these, but that first one, the Pastel Pop Kit, is also a collab with one of my very best friends in the entire world, Plumbella, so obviously this one is probably going to be one of my top tier favorite kits, like of all time, for a couple reasons. Like number one, it's just cute. Like from this and the screenshots, I can tell it's gonna be adorable. But also one of my very close friends was involved in making it, and I very much trust her opinion, although I'm, I also might be a little bit biased, I won't lie. And the other one is that everyday clutter kit, and this one is just super fun. I feel like we've all been begging for more clutter items and stuff in The Sims for ages, so the idea of like keys and sunglasses and like cute little clutter things really excites me. I know the idea of like keys exciting me that much sounds kind of silly, but for a person like me who loves to build, this is very, very cool. I have been waiting for these to come out, like I've been sat here refreshing my origin, and The Sims hasn't actually posted about it yet, but they are up, like I can buy them, so I'm gonna do that now. Oh, they're suggesting the everyday clutter kit, okay. I should probably be careful with that kind of thing, I'm like putting in my card details and phone number while I'm recording, but don't worry, it's all cut out, and the packs are both preparing, whatever that means. While I wait for those to download, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Plumbella, who helped work on that pastel pop kit. She actually made an entire video talking about like the behind the scenes of helping to make the kit, so if you want to go back and watch that, I'll link it down below for you. I just think this whole thing is so cool, and it's also really interesting if you like The Sims to like hear about that stuff, so make sure you check out that video, it's linked for you. Okay, they are both still preparing. Is this what I get for like still trying to use the Origin app instead of the new EA desktop app? Because I don't want to switch yet, I'm not ready. Okay, they finally both downloaded, so now we can actually open the game and check out these new packs, if it'll open itself. Oh, and the cat has joined us, <laughs> so we have a guest for this part. When she comes up here like this, sometimes the camera will focus on her tail and I don't notice, so I'm sorry if that happens. Uh, it's happening right now. <sighs> Okay, well, anyway, it's kit time. Okay, here we go. Welcome to The Sims 4 Pastel Pop Kit. Decorating should be fun and carefree. Give your room a quirky side with irregular but simple shapes and dreamy pastel colors. I've actually seen both of these screenshots before. In fact, I made an entire video talking about them and like what excited me about them. I'm really sorry about the cat tail, <laughs> but I've also seen the everyday clutter kit ones. I'm curious to see how they're marketing this because I feel like it's a lot harder to sell like clutter than it is like a bedroom set. Can you sit on my lap instead so I can read? It's personal. A cell phone case in your Sims' favorite color, a stack of books and games placed off to the side in their living room, a creative display of pictures. This collection includes tons of small, personal touches that will make your Sims' house feel more like a home. And then show to tell, scattering used coffee cups to show your Sim is a big fan of caffeine or adding makeup and jewelry boxes to the top of their dresser for a hint at their morning routine are just a couple examples of the visual storytelling this kit empowers. I like how they've written that, because that's the thing, right? I know that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this kit. I love the idea of clutter items, but I feel like the average average Sims player will be like, okay, why do I need a used coffee cup? Okay, in hindsight, I probably should have like disabled the other packs and done these one at a time to make it easier to see what comes in each kit, but I guess we're just gonna get into it. Honestly, I think I'm gonna start with wallpaper because there's two. These are both from Jessie's kit, that pastel pop kit. We have this one, the Still Waters Run Deep wallpaper, and this looks like a really nice, like simple wallpaper, but it's also got some two-tone swatches. You know what? This is really good, like for decorating bedrooms and stuff, and we don't really have a lot of these nice pastel colors. I'm actually liking this a lot more than I thought I would, especially this green. We don't have very many good greens, so like any additional green swatches we could get, I'm here for. I really like that. That is a really nice one. And then we also have this version, which is similar, but it's got strawberries. There's like a half strawberry and a full strawberry swatch, and I assume there's probably the same for a lot of different colors. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is! Okay, do you know what? I love this, like, so much much more than I thought I would. Every single one of these swatches I am obsessed with. I'm going to use this all the time in kids' rooms and stuff. That is just so good. I don't know what it is, but I don't think I've ever been this excited about a Sims wallpaper. Something about this is just like really speaking to me. I kind of want this in real life. All right, first things first, we got this adorable new bed, and we don't really have anything like this right now. It's a double bed, and it kind of has like a funky cloud shape on the headboard, and then it has a lot of really fun swatches on the actual bed. It also seems to have a couple really nice neutral swatches, but I'm loving the pattern on these bedspreads. I think that's so cool. Okay, somehow a couple of these things got like lost in the bottom, so <laughs> let me make sure I grab these before I forget. Must be placed on specific objects. Oh! Oh, can you actually use that? No way! Okay, let's try it. I guess it probably needs to be on a desk or something. 
<gasps> Wait, and your sim can gain the charisma and acting skill in that. So that's why it has to be on a table so they can actually use it. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed by that. This is a mirror from the clutter kit. So I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. We'll come back to that. This desk is from the pastel pop kit. It is also very cute. It looks like it has a wood swatch and like a solid white and black, thank God, but also some kind of fun colored ones. I like that white and pink a lot. Oh my gosh, and that white and blue too. I really like this. I like this like wavy detail and the shelf above it. And then we also got a couple clutter items in the kit. We have these cute candles and a bunch of fun swatches. We also have this salt lamp and a bunch of fun swatches, which I'm kind of glad we got because we don't have anything like that right now. We've got an armchair and a desk chair. Wait, is that a heart? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I haven't actually seen anything in the kit yet. I know I just recommended you go watch Jesse's video on it, but I didn't watch it yet because I wanted to like react to this live. I had seen the screenshots, but I didn't want to like spoil anything for myself until I actually played with it. So I haven't really seen all of the items yet. This is so cute. The cow print too. Oh my goodness. I really, really like that. The colors are so good with the light pastels. That little yellow one. I'm gonna use that all the time. That's only 80 simoleons too, so it's pretty affordable. This chair is kind of like a funky shape as well. That's really fun. I like a good accent chair in The Sims. We need more stuff like that. Okay, this one is kind of like a bench, kind of like a couch. It's classed as a sofa. When I saw it in the screenshots, I thought it might make a nice like end of the bed sort of bench. It seems to fit pretty well there. And it also has so many cute swatches. I'm so glad they made a pastel kit. You have no idea. I'm so glad. I really like that. They also made a couple of these like sort of trendy tile tables. I see these a lot online right now. I really like how that looks. I keep seeing like people do DIYs of this on the internet and it always looks so cute. I've seen so many pink, like specifically pink tile tables. I really like how that looks. We also have this table. This one's pretty cool. What a fun, like kind of funky shape. This whole kit reminds me so much of obviously Jesse, but also of Steffo Sims. This is like exactly up their alleys. Like obviously Jesse was involved in making it, but this is like exactly Steph's vibe too. So it's so fun to see my like real life friends exact styles in the game. And there's so many you useful things too, like this little item. When I saw this in the screenshots, I got really excited too, because I love the idea of like keys to put hanging up by the door. We don't really have anything like this, just like a little shelf for like a small entryway sort of vibe. And we literally don't have keys. Like we just don't have keys in the game. So it's kind of fun to have that detail. We've got this kind of funky wall shelf, which I think I'm liking a lot more than I thought I would. Sometimes this sort of thing makes me a little bit nervous. I guess it's mostly Sims items that like come with a ton of things on them. They're sort of hard to use but this one's not as big as I thought it would be. It also sizes down kind of nicely. Of course, sizing it down will break the like slotting, but I do like that more than I thought I would. This one I was really excited about because this is a cork board. We have that base game cork board and there's like that base game collection where you can write to pen pals online and then you get postcards back in the mail. This cork board functions. My cat is climbing on the shelves. Okay. <laughs> this cork board functions so you can hang up those postcards on it. I'll show you later, but I don't want to like dig into debug yet. I'm too stressed. We've got enough things to look cat. Hang on. It was actually better when you were getting in front of my computer. It's better for you to be here than to be getting into things behind me. <laughs> there isn't anything here that she can knock off the desk. What was I talking about? I don't know. These prints are a good size. They're a nice size for like small walls and they're cute. They probably size- oh, nope. <laughs> they don't size up nicely. <laughs> They've got a weird shadow. A lot of artwork in this game has a weird shadow that like won't size up right, so I'm not surprised, but I do like this. Okay, and this one is like a really funky looking mirror. I didn't notice in the original screenshots because I saw it just from this angle and thought it was like just all one. But if you kind of like rotate the camera a little bit, you can see there's like two layered on top of each other. That looks really cool. I also like how it's frameless. I just think that's really interesting. Some of these things are starting to overlap. I'm trying to just do all the pastel pop kit stuff. This one is also from this kit. It's like a little flower vase, which is so nice. I like the colored glass. That's pretty cute. Oh, there's two rugs from this kit. There's the cute cookie rug and the choose your aesthetic rug. I didn't, I don't think I realized there was going to be two rugs. I I actually really like this one. That's kind of cool. I wonder how that sizes up. I know it's a little bit big, but it's sized up would probably fit nicely underneath the bed. Okay, and then this one's got a bunch of different kind of fun patterns. I, okay, you know what? I really like this one. And then we also have like some fun checkers. Oh, and there's strawberries 
too. Oh, I'm so glad they did the strawberry as a rug too. I love the wall, but the rug I'm probably gonna use more often just cause it's easier to like fit into more spaces, but I'm really excited about that. Okay, this is the aesthetically portable tablet. Not enough space for a computer or desktop setup. This adorable portable tablet with a matching mouse and keyboard is sure to liven up your space. So it's supposed to be like a tablet set up to act as a computer. And I just saw someone say that you can drag this into your Sims inventory so you can like bring it around places with you. I'm gonna have to check that after we're done looking at everything. But this is just such an adorable little setup. There's so many cute mouse pads too. They have like the strawberries on the mouse pad as well. We don't really have any like cutesy computers yet. So that's kind of a fun touch. Okay, and I think we've got two items left. We have this little trash can, <laughs> which has a bunch of fun prints on it. It looks like a soda can, but it's a trash can. And there's a couple fun variants. Oh! And then we also have this huge shelf, which has so many fun little swatches. I'm really, really excited about this kit. There's so many cute things in this one. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's the entire pastel pop kit. Now I wanna go look at all the clutter kit objects. This is probably going to be a much less impressive spread because it's a bunch of little clutter items. Like it's literally just a bunch of little clutter items. And I realized that this sort of thing might seem very odd to some. Like you might see this and think why on earth would anybody want a pack like this? And I understand. I understand that mentality. I, I can see looking at this and thinking, well, this is ridiculous. But like I mentioned earlier, me as a person who builds a lot in The Sims, I just think this is like so, so beyond cool. I am really into this idea. And I'm now triple checking that I didn't miss anything. I don't even know if I did or not. Oh my God, there's so many items now. They need to like filter the kits better. Oh, we obviously have this mirror too. Oh, you can put it on shelves. That's interesting. Okay, well, that mirror is one of the items. Okay, let's actually talk about each individual thing. So we have that mirror that we saw earlier. This one is like a makeup mirror and it looks like it's got a ring light on it so that you can do your makeup and it can be placed on like tables and stuff, which is kind of cool. I really like how there's clutter like coming outside of the item, how there's like the nail polish and the little hair clip like there and it's not all just in the dish that's attached to it. There's something about this that just makes it feel very real and like lived in, like a person's actually using it. These are the boom blocks. It's actually a radio. It looks like it's actually gonna play music, which is really cool because I feel like it's kind of hard to fit those into things. A lot of this stuff is like really big and doesn't really match anything and how many people really have speakers like this, but a lot of people have like little smart speakers like this and you can just like put it on your Sims desk, put it on the table. I really like the idea of this. When I saw it in the pictures, I didn't really know what it was and I was kind of like, oh, okay, that's fine but water bottle, you know? <laughs> but this one is actually better than I thought it was gonna be. Honestly, I think I might end up using this the most out of like everything because that's super useful. It just is gonna fit in well to like every space. I'm curious how they price this stuff. Okay, so the Thirsty Thermos, this water bottle is 10 simoleons and it's got a few little variants there. We have the Write It Down Notebook, also 10 simoleons and that has a few little fun swatches. There's some kind of cute colors. We have this Mug Trio, 15 simoleons. Oh, wait, look, it's got some kind kind of cute swatches. These ones are dirty. They have like a couple dirty variants and a bunch of clean variants. Oh, oh, I'm gonna use these so much. They even have like some strawberries on that back one. We don't have a lot of dishes in this game. We got like some plates in Snowy Escape, but we don't have a lot of stuff like this to like put on kitchen shelves as kitchen clutter. So these mugs, the water bottle, honestly, it looks like this item, snack pack to go, fill to the brim with gourmet, sweet and savory snacks. Okay, so I guess it's just like a little food container but you could totally use like a couple swatches of that and then put it on a shelf in your Sims kitchen just to have some more kitchen clutter. This is literally just a box. It's a trinket box. You can't do anything with it, but it, it's a nice box <laughs> and you can put it on your shelves. This one's kind of cool. This is the Beacon of Intention Active Set and it's like a rolled up yoga mat and a kettlebell. We don't have a lot of like home gym decor either. So that's kind of a fun accent to like stick in your Sims gym. It's got a really decent variety of swatches too. There's like some fun like neutral colors and some pretty pastels. This item I was excited about. This looks like a memory box. It's the protector, the ultimate in professional grade storage bins. And it looks like there's some letters and like some like old binders, maybe photo albums kind of in there. I like this sort of item when you're building like an attic or something because you can put some cute storage up there. This one's a headset. They're kind of expensive, 150 simoleons, but it's nice like desk clutter for your gamer sims maybe. This item right here is like some more workout clutter. This too, I'm probably going to use a lot 
lot. I feel like I have a really hard time making home gyms in my Sims game. So these two items alone are gonna make a big difference. Okay, we've got a bunch more. We've got a little hat item right here, just like a hat to sit on the table. Kind of going along with that, we have this shoe box and it's like nice brand new shoes still in the box, like on display. This is super common. People have like really nice sneaker collections. We don't really have anything like that in the game. So it's kind of fun to have that. Okay, I think these are like some bills and little coins and like a little coin jar. That is adorable. Oh, <laughs> I love the idea of stuff like this. Just like real life. Okay, the cat is back. Just like real life everyday items that we're kind of lacking. And they're kind of cheap, like this 25 simoleon magazine stack. It's got a bunch of swatches, so you could use like any variant. And they kind of have like some interests on them. So you could like tell a story. Your sim likes chess. They can have a chess one. They like science. There's like a microscope. There's a game one. We've got a baking one. Like you can use this in a lot of different rooms and kind of fit it to different purposes. Also, these little pencils, we don't have anything like this. We have some debug pencils that people dig around and use. We don't have any just like clutter pencils that you can just put on the desk or like even on your Sims kitchen counter, they might have a sticky note there for the shopping list or whatever. So this is kind of a fun detail and I assume it's not too expensive. It's 40. But weren't the mugs like 15? <laughs> Why is the sticky note 40? Was it made of gold or something? Okay, whatever. We also have this box. Procrastinator's box of stuff. Again, super great for just like building cluttered out rooms. Maybe your Sims garage or an attic. Oh, look, it's the same magazines. It's those same swatches, but like put inside of the box. That's a fun touch actually. They like read it, put it away, shoved it in the garage. <laughs> and now it's just in this box. This one's kind of cool. It's like a digital sketch pad, a wireless drawing tablet and a mug accompanied by a pair of art books and pens. So it's like kind of an assortment of artsy stuff that you can use. We've got some makeup and some jewelry right here. These things are getting a little bit more expensive. The jewelry stands 220, the makeup's 175. We always need more stuff like this, just like really nice desk and dresser clutter. Here's a once upon a time chess kit and it's like a little game set up and you can put it on your Sims coffee table or something. I was really excited about this when I saw it in the screenshots. This is like a little tray to store your Sims glasses and their watch. You can put this on like their nightstand or their dresser or whatever. We also have a tiny little watch box. I love these like little tiny details. The idea of like giving your Sim this and like pretending it was grandpa's watch and now it's my watch. I just, I like that sort of little thing. I know it's silly, but I like that sort of little detail. In a similar sense, we have just some glasses, literally just like some plain glasses, but it's cool because there's a bunch of swatches. You can leave those on your Sims dresser. I love this. I just, I love these kind of little clutter things. And then last but not least, we have this phone and keys. <gasps> 150! Oh my god, what are you implying that you have to pay for the phone? <laughs> Why is that so expensive? I don't agree with that actually. I think it should be cheap. But there's some cute swatches. Oh, look at the strawberry key set. Oh my god. Okay, I like this item a lot. That's so cute. I reject the price, but it is cute. Hang on, I'm gonna get a sim so that we can test a couple of these things out. I wanted her to come use the mirror. Okay, so it's technically a light. So you can like turn it off and then turn it back on and stuff. But you can also like change your outfits, practice to Debate, practice acting, all of that just in this. And you can even practice dancing in it. That's kind of fun because it's like a small mirror. I just realized I forgot about the wall stuff. <laughs> I'll come back to that, hang on. I wanna test out the computer quickly because they said that you could drag this into your Sims inventory. Oh, wow, okay, so you could like bring it with you and like use it at the park like a laptop. I'm not sure about the mouse pad being under it <laughs> if you're gonna like drag it around, but I don't really care because it's cute. And I like the idea of it being portable, so I'm not complaining. So when I mentioned those pen pal things, if you do this, socializing thing and then you find a pen pal and they'll actually send you postcards, which I'm gonna cheat for really fast just so I can show you. But there's a whole bunch of like collectible postcards you can get. And with these, you can like hang them up onto this little cork board, just like the base game one. This one is just way cuter. Okay, and then, oops, sorry, I forgot about these items. <laughs> I don't know how, cause they were hung up right there, but we also have this amazing little key rack. This is like a more simple version. Oh, and there's different variants of keys even. But this one has like some mail hung up and then some keys hanging from it. We also have these little little tote bags hanging on the wall. We have this cool like basketball and hat display. And we have this little like fishing item, which is kind of cute. There's like even photos of a Sim in there. <laughs> and there's like a fishing rod attached.
attached to some little pictures. I really, really like this kit. I think that I like this kit more than I thought I would, and I knew going into it I was gonna like the kit a lot. Same thing with the pastel pop kit. I really like all of these items. There was a carpet? I came in here to count how many items were in the kit, and I totally missed one of them. Hang on. Okay, well, I loaded into my Legacy Challenge house, so it looks kind of weird, but we can test it out in here. It's like a really nice shag carpet. Oh, you know what? We haven't gotten any- Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That's fun. We haven't gotten any new carpet swatches in a long time, and this one is really nice. It's a totally different texture than the other ones that we have, and you know what else is good about this? We can use that as like a fake carpet. Like, you can sort of use the tile to make a fake rug in whatever shape you want it to be. Sometimes when I'm doing budget builds, you kind of have to do that. Like, if you can't afford a rug, you could just put a rug that's actually floor tile in there, and then it totally works, and this one I think will be really good for that, because it's cheap, and it also looks really good, and it has like fun swatches and stuff. I really like that. It's fun to get more carpets, because we really don't have very many. This- that pack has a lot of good like rug and carpet stuff going on. Okay, so <laughs> I was going to talk about how many items are in these, but I keep forgetting items. The pastel pop kit has 24, which is like right on par with all of the other kits. Little Camper's kit has 25, you know, they're all kind of similar in size. I feel like this one is going to be really usable for me, because I like this style a lot. I feel like it's gonna be great for like kids and teens bedrooms. I think specifically the rugs, the computer, the desk chair, some of the wall art, this item, I think I'm gonna use that stuff a lot. In fact, I think I might actually use all of this stuff a lot. There's not really anything here that I dislike, and I'm not just saying that because Jesse is my friend. I honestly really like this stuff, but I can see how this might not appeal to everyone, and that's totally fine. Like, it's a- it's a very specific style. It just happens to be one that I really enjoy. In the same sense that this everyday clutter kit might not appeal to everybody. This one actually has 30 items, so it's got more stuff in it. It's just not really the same kind of stuff that a lot of other kits have. Like, for example, in this pastel pop kit, you could decorate an entire bedroom. It's kind of like an entire set. And the clutter kit is sort of an opposite vibe. Like, it's more things that you could add in to, like, all kinds of rooms. You certainly couldn't decorate an entire room with this because there's no furniture. But it's not trying to have furniture. And I've actually been begging for stuff like this for a long time. I've been saying, like, hey, give me an entire kit of just beds. Hey, give me a kit of just curtains. And so this, like, just clutter kit is kind of exactly what I've been asking for. And I like how there's a lot of different clutter for, like, different kinds of sims and different interests. There's, like, some sports stuff and some makeup stuff and some art stuff. We even have, like, fishing stuff. It's just, there's a lot of cool things that could fit into a lot of houses here. And I'm probably gonna use a lot of this stuff, like, all the time. I feel like, for me, this is almost what I wanted out of the plant kit and then I didn't get. Like, I kind of wanted Blooming Rooms to have a lot of more normal-looking plants, like, a lot of good plant clutter. And there's a few things, but there's also some kind of weird stuff that I just don't really use from this kit. Like, these plant tables and, like, some of these bigger plants I just don't really find a use for very often. I don't think there's very many misses in this clutter kit, like how I felt about the Blooming Rooms kit. Does that make sense? So honestly, dare I say, I think these two kits might be up there as, like, some of my favorites that we've gotten so far. I'm looking at all of the other build kits, and I feel like they- they might be my top two. I think I might put Little Campers in number three. And look, I love this Desert Luxe kit, I really do. I loved even more how it was free, but these two are just so useful. I really, really like them. So there you have it. That is my glowing review of the two newest kits for The Sims 4. I'm curious to see how many of you are actually going to buy these, because judging my past YouTube comments and like my Twitch chat and stuff, it sounds like a lot of people are really interested in them. More so than a lot of the other kits. I feel like this one had more of a positive reception, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. I'm actually gonna do some building with these kits on stream today if you want to pop in and say hello. My Twitch channel is just twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy if you want to drop by. Also, I released some Halloween merch last month and we completely sold out, but we opened them back up for pre-orders. So if you missed the boo sweater and you want to grab one still, I'm gonna have my merch store linked down below as well. I'm a little bit biased, but I also think those are pretty cute. So if you want to check that out, it'll be linked down below for you. And with that being said, I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and have the best rest of your day, okay? Bye everybody. Oh my goodness, I was so worried that I was going to lose power in the tropical storm that hit me today, but luckily I didn't and we could still record and everything was fine, but I was getting really scared about it.